Welcome to Market IT's monthly video newsletter. In this installment, Barry Schimmel with MicroShare INTL is going to be talking to you about seven new marketing rules. Hello, and thank, thank you for having me on Market IT. We're going to talk about these seven proven rules that will help you grow your business. And yes, it is all about marketing. These rules came about because over the last few years, the internet has changed to make small, medium, and large-sized companies compete on the same playing field. And what we found out through a lot of research and probably mistakes, doing things the wrong way, we found out what works and we put it into a systematic approach. And that's how we came up with the seven proven rules, which we want to show you today. The first thing that you have to have is a strategy. If you were playing checkers against the little kid, you don't need a strategy, right? But you're not. You're playing against somebody that's as smart as you are. So you have to have an idea of how you're going to position, how you're going to move your pieces so that you can jump them and you can get kinged and you can win the game. Well, marketing's basically the same way. You need to have a strategy. You have to have the vision and you have to look out for the future, what you want to accomplish. You want to begin with the end in mind. So what we do is we put together a few different things to help you, you know, stand out from the competition. The first one is having an X factor. You know, what makes your products and services really stand out? Why would somebody want to use you and what's the benefit? Once you know that, you go on to your unique story. What separates you from the competition? And then we want to know who is your best client? Who is that target client? Who has the money and the need and the problem that you can solve? And once you know that, you can move on to the next rule. This rules the website rule, right? You want to start a conversation with your best customer, your top prospect. You want to be able to have a video on your website that introduces the CEO, that talks about your products and services on a high level so that they can start getting to know, like, and trust you. And then you need to have a lead capture so they can automate that follow-up. They could enter their information to get something of value, maybe a white paper or maybe a book you put together, something that's really valuable that gives them to the ability to know, like, and trust you. Once you have that, you really want to have customers post reviews, current reviews on your website. And this could be done just by writing reviews or this could be done by video. I like to have a little bit of both and have them current. Then I go on to the next rule. You want to be able to get found. You want somebody that really has a need that's searching to use your products or services and you want to be able to be found right when they're searching. It makes it a lot easier to convert that prospect into a client. And the places that you really need to be found on would be Google Business, uh, Google Plus, Bing and Yahoo for the search engines, and there's a lot of local directories. Then once you can be found, we'll go on to our next rule, building authority. Now, if you don't have authority and they find you, how do you know they're going to want to use you? They don't know you, they don't like you, they don't trust you, so you've spent all this money on a great website, and you know people could find you but you don't have any authority. So start working on press releases or blogging, guest blogging, you know, writing books, uh, writing white papers, get stuff about you and your company, you know, out on the net so people could start building that relationship and they know you know what you're talking about. And once they do, we'll go to the next rule. It's called reputation, right? You want to build a five-star reputation. You want your clients, your best clients, your raving fans to go to Yelp and Merchant Circle and City Search and you want them to give you a five-star reputation and let them tell others so they could experience working with you. You want them to convince a prospect 
that you have really solved their problem, your products or your services, and you've made a difference. And when you start doing that, you market that reputation. You put it on different social media sites. That way, when people find you, they're building that relationship. By the time they get to your website, they're ready to do business with you. Next, we made automating your follow-up a rule because how many times do you go to a chamber event or you meet somebody at a grocery store? Today I went golfing and I met somebody that really had a need. Now, the easiest way to do it is with cross-channel marketing where you can go to your website, you could enter their information in just like a prospect that would find you online. Or you could have them text the number that you picked out so they can get right into your list right away. And then you're sending them your best presentation, your best marketing materials automated because you don't know who that best prospect's gonna be. You might think, you know, you met somebody that's a really nice person, but you don't know they own 10 different companies. And once you follow up with them and you show them what you do and they get to know, like, and trust you, you're going to get that appointment and close that particular deal. So that's why we made automate your follow-up, you know, a really strong rule here. Now we want to target the top prospects because we have the reputation, we have a great website, they could, people could find us online, we know who that client is, we have a strategy, and we do this with direct mail and advertising, acquisition email where you can target people for four cents an email. And you could go out to 50,000 people very simply and you can send them something immediately. So you know who your prospect is because we figured that out in a strategy. This is the person that has the need. And you want to target those people. It makes your marketing dollars so much more powerful and you get a bigger return on investment. And remember, you always have to measure, no matter what you're doing, if it's website or local search, you want to measure. And you want to make sure that you're always improving. It's like building the foundation for your house. You put all the pieces and then you make sure the roof doesn't leak. And you make sure everything you did was perfect and you're going to live there and be happy forever. And you want to do the same thing with your marketing. So let me review these seven rules. We want to develop a strategy, start a conversation, get found, build authority, market your reputation, automate your follow-up, and target top prospects. This will give you the best return on your money whenever you're doing any marketing. And you could do this stuff yourself. You could partner with a company that can coach you and consult with you. Or you can outsource it completely. It's your call. But make sure you follow these seven new marketing rules. They're very effective and they're proven to grow your business. I want to thank you for joining us today with Market IT. If you want more of these great videos, they come out on a monthly basis in a newsletter. Go to www.marketitnumber4biz.com. Again, it's marketitforbiz.com, and we look forward to seeing you next month.